again from the top. What a day it is.
black people weren't allowed to be in certain places and weren't welcome there, et cetera, et cetera. So the people I was trying to work for, the magazines, the newspapers, the, the design studios weren't hiring uh, people like me. So it was very, very, very difficult. And as a result, I started to chase a lot of these musicians because it was a passion of mine. I love the music, rock and roll, the Rolling Stones, the Who, all of those people were the ones that were making the money, were getting on the magazines, were like that. The jazz musicians were playing in a lot of the venues, but I love jazz, so I chased these musicians. And I realized early on having listened to their music for years, when I started to go into the clubs in Boston and getting and being there and looking and at the musicians as they were playing on stage, I very often had no idea who they were. I knew their music, I knew their names, but because the photographs for years and years were mainly black and white, with some black man with a silver horn sticking out of his mouth, I never recognized, I had no idea. So if I saw three saxophonists on stage, I might know their music, but I had no idea which one of them was. So I said, there's a problem here. So if you notice, 90% of the photographs here are not in performance. I actually went up, people, there are several people here who know this story, have heard this story before, but I actually went up to them, I would sneak in the back door of these clubs, sneak in the back door of what was not in those days, the jazz workshop in Paul's Mall. A few of you might have actually heard of those places, they're all gone now. I would sneak in the back door and I would wait, <laughs> I would stalk, these musicians. I would wait until they weren't talking and it would never, so I literally would wait right outside the bathroom. They would come out of the bathroom, they were always alone in those cases. I would give myself 37 seconds to convince them to let me take their picture. And in those days, this is years ago, they weren't as self-conscious. They said, take all the pictures you want. Take all the, I said, no, 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 no. I don't want you in performance. I want to take you to my studio. I want to take you backstage. I want to take you to your hotel room, whatever, where I can have you as to myself. We can arrange. And that's, so that's how most of the pictures were taken. Wow. But it was literally a way of my gaining entree to some of the magazines. If anybody, again, I'm gonna talk about years ago, a lot of these people are dead, which is really, really, really sad when you think about it. 